All right, what's going on everybody? We're back here for another IG Live workout. All right, we see some people logging in. What's going on, what's going on? Good to see everybody back. We're gonna give it a few minutes, let everybody join in. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see everybody here. Again, gonna give it a few minutes. Um, Coach Chris is with us again. Um, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, practicing social distancing still, just like myself and Coach Chris here. I'm um, gonna get a nice workout in today. Um, shouldn't be too long, definitely won't go over 30 minutes. Try to make it nice and quick. <clears throat> One thing we're gonna work on is some form shooting. Um, so I'll mention this a few times as people log in so everybody kind of hears this, but the first part of the workout will be a little bit slower. Um, I know we've done a lot of things that get the sweat going, get you going, um, working hard. We're on purpose, slowing it down just a little bit. Again, as you can see, Coach Chris has his chair here and his basketball. Um, that's the only two things you will need. Obviously, your water bottle for a water break. Um, but aside from that, we're gonna be sitting down for a couple things. One thing we really, really wanna focus on today is our technique, our form and our technique. Again, I know we've done quite a few workouts where we're getting the blood flowing. Um, doing things that, that really get you sweating. And today we'll still work hard. We're still gonna get a good sweat, especially during the ball handling segment. Um, but the, the first part of the workout is, is all form shooting. If you have a basket, that's okay. If, if you can maneuver where you can see us and you have a basket and you wanna do these drills um, and shoot into your hoop, that's fine, that's even more beneficial. If not, it's okay. Myself and Coach Chris are doing it without a hoop here. Um, you can still get some good work in, still get good repetitions. Um, and, and benefit from it. So again, if, if you have a hoop, you can use it for, for the shooting segment. If you don't, no worries. Um, you can do it without it. All right, so again, we're gonna give it a, a, just about a minute here. Let everybody join in. We see people joining in. Give us some emojis, um, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we'll get started in about 30 seconds, okay? Um, before we do get started, we, we have to talk about one thing, something we talked about before, but Kaiser Permanente, um, the official team physicians of the Golden State Warriors have given us some tips again. Um, I know we touched on briefly about ankle injuries, um, something that's super common within basketball injuries is, is, is an ankle injury, rolling the ankle, spraining your ankle, um, something we see quite a bit and something that's, that's pretty common, something that whoever's played basketball has probably had happened to them before. Um, so again, one thing we wanna work on is trying to prevent that, all right? We obviously touched on things about how to, you know, once, once it happens, how to heal from it, elevating, icing, all that good stuff. But one thing we wanna try and do is try to prevent it by all costs. So um, one thing that's important, obviously having the correct shoes, having something, your shoes tied up tight all the way, trying to really protect your ankles. Um, but you gotta warm up the muscles a little bit. So one thing Coach Chris is gonna do right behind us here, he's just gonna do, even without a jump rope, almost like uh, you're jumping a jump rope. Nice quick jumps, just warming up a little bit, warming up those calf muscles, um, warming up the ankle just a little bit. Um, get yourself going. If you wanna count how many you do, if you have a jump rope, you can try to add a jump rope to it. Um, but again, you could do however many you wanna do. If you wanna do 40, 50 jumps, just get yourself uh, warmed up, get your ankles warmed up, making sure we're trying to prevent prevent any ankle injury. All right, so after we do that, um, one other tip that we got is stretching out our calf muscle. All right, so he's actually gonna turn to the side a little bit. Again, we've talked about this before. He's gonna have one foot back and straighten out that leg um, and really try to stretch out that muscle. So the leg that's back is gonna be all the way straight. Um, his heel is on the ground. You should really feel the stretch on the calf. Okay, so that's one thing you wanna, you can do. Again, prior to playing, it doesn't have to be a long time, but if you do this for 10 seconds, each leg um, really gets stretched out, warmed up. It'll help prevent any type of ankle injuries, calf muscle injuries, um, Achilles, God forbid, you know, some scary stuff. So something we should do, try to work on all the time. And lastly, um, the next warm up we can do, actually he can sit on the ground for this, or I'm sorry, sit on the chair for this one if he wants. And he's just gonna roll his ankles out, okay? He's just gonna roll his foot, just trying to get his ankle um, rolled out, obviously not into a detrimental phase where he hurts himself, but just rolling out his foot. Again, loosening the ankle a little bit, loosen up those muscles, um, trying to prevent any ankle injuries if possible. Lastly, um, again, I, I, we touched on it before, but if you happen to roll an ankle, 
Best thing you can do is elevate your ankle, um, try to keep the swelling down, make sure you tie your shoe nice and tight. Once you get home or once you get somewhere safe, you can take your shoe off, get some ice on it, try to keep the swelling down. Um, but again, something that's common and, and, and hopefully you guys can heal from pretty soon. All right, uh, so we'll get into the workout now. Again, what we wanna focus on is our form. So he's actually gonna stay in the chair, he's gonna grab his basketball, and we're gonna do form shooting in the chair. All right, so one thing I want everybody to do is really focus on your form and your technique. Again, we're slowing down just a little bit. We do feel like it's very, very important, more so than tiring you out today, um, to really focus on the technique and something that you guys should really focus on, especially at the younger ages, but really at all age levels. I've actually seen Coach Chris work out many a times, um, and every time he works out, when it's with the hoop, he starts shooting from really, really close in, all right? So this is something, again, if you don't have a hoop, you can work on your form, really trying to make sure he keeps his elbow in. So he's gonna keep his elbow in um, right under his wrist. When he shoots, one thing I want you guys to notice is it's gonna be a little bit difficult. You can shoot it so that it, it hits the ground so you can hold your follow through. Once he shoots, one thing that we like to say is your elbow replaces your wrist, okay? So when he shoots, if he's pointing at his wrist, as soon as he releases that ball, his elbow is right where his wrist was, okay? You wanna start your shot right around your eyebrow level, keep your elbow in, make sure it's not out like that, just like Coach Chris is doing a good job. And when he extends, his elbow is replacing his wrist. If his elbow does not replace his wrist, that means he's shooting out like that. So if you see I'm pointing, I'm not pointing to my wrist or to my elbow anymore. You don't wanna do that, that causes a catapult of a shot. We don't wanna catapult it, we wanna shoot up nice and high and lastly and one of the most important things that he's doing a great job of is snapping his wrist snapping his wrist like that making sure it gets good backspin on the ball okay so that's something we want to focus on again he's going nice and slow getting the technique down really just trying to build muscle memory okay so you can shoot it if you want to shoot it and you want to catch it that's fine i suggest you letting it bounce right in front of you so that he's really exaggerating the follow-through okay one thing we talk about especially when you get to a hoop um, and if you do have a hoop, hold your follow through until it hits something. So if it hits the rim, if it hits the net, backboard, whatever it is, you wanna hold your follow through until it hits something or goes through, the, uh, goes through the rim. All right, really try to exaggerate it. So he's gonna do this for a little bit. You guys should be doing this with us as well. Again, I know I'm talking through it, but we should be trying to get a bunch of reps with this right now. We're gonna keep going for a little bit longer, um, really trying to focus on extending, snapping that wrist. All right, we're gonna do, Chris, give me two more good reps and then we'll add the guide hand. Make sure he controls that basketball. Good, good. Now, now everybody should pause real quick so you can watch us before we get to it. We're gonna add our guide hand. So again, if you are right-handed, your guide hand will be your left hand and vice versa, obviously. If you're left-handed, your guide hand will be your right hand. So he, he's gonna keep it in the same, it's the same exact shot, okay? Now all he's gonna do is add that guide hand, and one thing we really wanna focus on is shooting through that guide hand, okay? So once he shoots it, his guide hand shouldn't turn at all. We shouldn't see any of his thumb being activated at all. His fingers shouldn't come together. His hand stays flat. I can see it from here. He's doing a great job of really shooting right through that guide hand, okay? It's just helping with stability, um, obviously being on balance, but a good thing to get some muscle memory with as well. Also, your guide hand, I, I don't think it's talked about quite enough, but we also don't want our guide hand with our elbow to be way out here, all right? It'll force our thumb to go in a little bit, this finger. We wanna keep it nice and tight. It obviously doesn't have to be super narrow. A nice, comfortable position where you can shoot, just like Coach Chris is doing, and shoot right through it. So again, players, you guys should be doing some reps as well, all right? Let's get some reps, adding the guide hand. Again, taking your time, it shouldn't be too fast making sure we're building good muscle memory. Something that we think is very, very important with building the shot. All right, so you guys should be doing it. As you guys are doing it, Coach Chris is gonna keep going um, and, and we'll be talking through some points. The one thing that we are not practicing with this, obviously, is activating our, our legs, getting the power from our legs, and that's all right. We'll talk about that. We're actually gonna work on that a little bit here in a little bit. Um, I think it's a very, very important part of your shot, but we do wanna focus on the, the, our upper body a little bit. All right, so making sure our hands, our arms, where they're supposed to be, we're shooting through, making sure we're snapping that wrist, holding, th holding that follow through, all right? Um, and again, once you guys, as you guys are shooting right now, once you guys are able to get to a, a hoop and a basket, um, this is something you guys should do from, you know, three feet out, really close to the rim, right in front of the rim. It'll force you to shoot up nice and high. Um, I think we're obviously very blessed to have 
the two best, the, the, the best shooting backcourt ever in Clay Thompson and Steph Curry and, and seeing them shoot threes is great. Um, but this is how they started. This is how they started to really develop their shot um, and something we see them do as well. Again, Coach Chris is a, a phenomenal shooter, obviously a great player. We see him work out and they all start their, their warm up um, and their workouts from really close towards the basket. So something you guys should do, obviously, once you get to a hoop, you can stand up. You don't have to be in a chair, um, but this is just some good practice right now. So Coach Chris, give us three more good reps. Again, holding that follow through, really extending it. If you're doing a good job, you may even feel a little bit of burn in your arms from holding your follow through. It's probably uh, not a natural feeling for most of you guys that are doing this drill. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now. We're gonna stay seated. We're gonna try and speed it up just a little bit, add a dribble, okay? One thing we wanna focus on, um, Coach Chris is gonna show us real quick. He's gonna dribble. He can dribble with his uh, right hand right into a shot. So again, same thing, and you can shoot right through, all right? So you can add one dribble. If you wanna do two dribbles, that's fine, but really pounding it right into your shot, okay? One thing we wanna, now let's have everybody do that. Everybody should be doing this while we're coaching it up. Um, so Coach Chris is gonna continue to go. One thing we wanna focus on, Coach Chris is doing a good job of really pounding the basketball. All right, one thing, once you guys, again, get to a, a hoop and you guys are able to stand up and shoot in the basket and you're shooting off the dribble, one thing, one, one neat tip is trying to really pound the basketball right into your shoot, shooter's pocket. So Coach Chris just did a perfect job of pounding it right into a shooter's pocket, getting that shot a little bit quicker. Okay, now that's something that um, you definitely want to focus on as you get older and play higher levels of basketball, um, trying to get your shot nice and quick. But again, we're, we're blessed to have two players that we really witnessed do this at a higher level than probably anybody in the world. Um, shooting off the dribble, Steph is a phenomenal off the dribble shooter as well. Pounds it right into a shooter pocket, gets it up nice and quick. All right, so let's keep going. Give, 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 uh, give me a few more reps with that right hand. Good, let's do one more rep with the right hand. Now let's switch. Now we're gonna bounce with our left hand. Again, it should feel a little bit awkward. Obviously, we're sitting down. Most of us are not used to sitting down and dribbling. That's okay. We're gonna pound it right into that shooter pocket. And one thing we wanna focus on is, although we're adding a dribble now, we're focused on something else and really pounding that, our form should be the same. So Coach Chris has, has done a phenomenal job of his form hasn't suffered a bit. Even though he's uh, pounding the basketball, focused on something different, it feels a little bit weird because you're sitting down. His form is still the same. He's pounding right into the shooter's pocket, shooting through that guide hand, um, his elbows replacing his wrist, snapping that uh, follow through the entire time. All right, so let's make sure we keep going. Let's get a few more reps with this as well. Perfect, let's do one more good rep. All right, now what we're gonna do, we can stand up and let's move that chair. We're gonna get moved, oh, I'm sorry. We're keeping the chair there, my apologies. We're gonna keep the chair there, but we are gonna get moving a little bit. So, we're gonna try and focus on that inside foot. Coach Chris is doing a good job of shaking out those legs. I know we sat down for a little bit after getting warmed up, so make sure you're going. We're not gonna go too, too fast right now. Again, something that's very important is making sure um, our shot starts with our feet and our lower body. So making sure our feet and our legs are where they're supposed to be. So what he's gonna do, He's gonna spin the ball to himself and go around the chair, almost like it's a screen. He did a great job of his inside foot, the foot that's closest to the chair, being his pivot foot or his plant foot. So he's gonna catch it, plant on that foot, and it should be a one-two right into your shot. Okay, one-two step right into the shot. He's doing a great job of right left, right into the shot right there. Okay, so he's gonna do that on both sides. After he does it once on the one side, he's gonna switch. Now it's gonna be the inside foot on this side. It was left, right, right into a shot. Okay, so again, left, right, right into a shot. He's doing a great job of staying square. Okay, so we're gonna to continue to do that. Um, we'll have everybody go back and forth. Show us what it looks like real quick. Full speed back and forth, it's gonna come here. And if you wanna shoot, one thing we wanna try and focus on, you can shoot and finish. Try to have the ball land right in front of you. Nice and controlled shot right in front of you. So let's do that. Let's everybody get some reps with that. Again, make sure we're getting Nice and squared up, good. Our feet are just, are just as important as our hand placement. Make sure we're getting squared, following through. Perfect, having that ball land right in front of you. Okay, we, we wanna try and control that basketball. Obviously, if you have a hoop and you can shoot at a hoop right now, that's even better. You can get that chair. It should be about you know, like 10 feet in front of the rim. Shouldn't be too far out, just trying to really spin the ball to yourself, focusing on your footwork. Perfect, perfect. One thing I will say with Coach Chris, that he's, who, he's done a great job, again, yet again, because he has great muscle memory at this point, 
of his upper body and where his arms are, his hand placement has not suffered a bit, okay? Even though he's really focused on his legs, spinning the basketball to himself, getting where he needs to be, he's still shooting right through his guide hand, snapping that follow through. Perfect. We'll do two more times each side, two more reps each side. Perfect. Shoot right through it, nice. Perfect, nice work. Okay, last thing we're gonna do, uh, well, before we get some water, you're gonna sit back down. Now we're gonna try and make it a little bit more awkward. We're gonna add a little bit of a, of a um, dribble while you're when you go into your shot. So the first one he's gonna do is just a, a, a through the legs right in front of him, right into that shot, okay? Just trying to, again, trying to get a little bit awkward. It should feel different to everybody, but he's gonna go through the legs, really try to pound it right into this uh, shooter pocket and see if we can keep perfect form. So let's do that. Everybody, let's work on that. Go through each different, uh, the, a different leg each time. Perfect, perfect. Now switch sides. Exactly, exactly. And one thing he's actually doing right now, he's doing a great job of moving his feet and then getting his feet back to square, which is something we're gonna work on standing up here pretty soon. But this is just a little practice to it. Again, really trying to keep our same form. Perfect, let's do a few more reps. A few more reps to this each side. Perfect, okay, hold it, up, hold it up there. Now let's stand up. You can move the chair for me. You guys can move the chair off to the side. Now he's gonna do the exact same thing that he was just doing, but standing up. So one thing he really wants to focus on, he'll demonstrate it real quick before we go. He's gonna go through the legs. So he's gonna move his feet, go through the legs, and he did a great job of getting his feet back square. So after he moved his feet, he got his feet right back to his shooting position. Okay, so as you, as you can see, now Chris, do it wrong real quick. Just go through the legs and keep your feet where they're supposed to be, or where they're at. Good, you see how off balance he is. So if he moves his feet to do his through legs dribble and doesn't put his feet back square, probably gonna miss that shot, it's really awkward, okay? So go ahead and do it the correct way again. He's gonna go through the legs, get his feet square, right into the shot, trying to get that ball to bounce right in front of him. All right, now everybody, let's do some reps. Let's do some reps of that, going through the legs, a uh, different direction each time. All right, if you wanna speed it up a little bit, challenge yourself, you can do that as well. Go ahead, Chris. Perfect, knees bent, good. He's doing a good, great job of getting his feet square right to his shooting position. And last thing I want to mention about Coach Chris, again, he hasn't once yet this entire workout let his form suffer. Okay, Even though I've been trying to do different things, make it feel very awkward for him, his upper body, his hand placement, his arm placement hasn't suffered a bit. Um, it, it's just a muscle memory thing at this point. So again, even if you aren't doing it as quite as good as Coach Chris and, and your hand placement, your follow through isn't being held the entire time, that's okay. There's room for improvement. That's why we're doing this. Okay, so let's do a few more reps each side. Good. Really pounding that basketball through the legs, right into a shot. Perfect, perfect. Let's go two more times each side. Nice work. Pound that basketball, get your feet square, follow through, good. Last one, great rep. Perfect, quickly get some water and we'll be right back to do some ball handling. Nice work, Coach Crisp. All right, as you guys are getting water, um, one thing I will say, next thing we're gonna do is some ball handling stuff. Again, we're gonna try and get you guys moving a little bit. Um, I appreciate everybody that was with us. I know it's a little bit different than what we've been doing. And again, I told you guys we were slowing down on purpose, want to really focus on technique, something that we all feel is very, very important. Uh, we know how important it is to get your blood flowing and, and get a good sweat. We've done that with some movement agil efficiency stuff, some agility things. Obviously, we've seen Coach Chris sweat through his shirt. Um, through workouts here and we do feel like that is important but one thing we don't want to suffer is again technique and form especially if you're a younger player but really of all ages um, if, if the technique and the form struggles it, it's it's tough to get back we want to build that muscle memory we think this is something that's important to focus on so we appreciate you guys sticking that one out and something that we really really feel like you guys should do 
shooting is, is a difficult, difficult skill to get down and to really master, and it takes hours and hours of work, um, and it's tedious work. So something that, again, I've watched Coach, Coach Chris work out for years now. I've been fortunate enough to watch that and see how much his shot, and it's, just his shot alone, has improved. But again, it's, t it's taken a lot of tedious work, things like that, all right? And, and you can't skip those steps. So even though it's not the most fun part of basketball, you can't skip those steps if you really, really want to get good, especially at shooting, all right? Um, so we'll get right back into it. We're going to do some, some uh, ball handling stuff. I'm going to tell you guys what the entire circuit looks like first, and then we'll just run through it. So Coach Chris will demonstrate before you guys get started. First thing we're going to do is small crossovers. So he's going to do small crossovers right in front of him, just like that, nice and low. Make sure it stays right inside of his knees. Next thing we're going to do is uh, wide crossovers. So he's going to pound the ball, go wide crossovers. Perfect, just like that. Next set that we're going to do is a V-dribble cross. So he's going to V-dribble in front, cross, V-dribble, cross, V-dribble, cross, perfect. And then the last one, excuse me, the last one that we're going to do is through the legs cross. So you can choose either leg you want to do, perfect. So if he wants to put his left foot in front, go through the legs cross, he's going to stay like that the entire time, all right? And then we'll switch legs on the second set. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and go for about 20 to 25 seconds on, five second rest in between, and then get through it. So we got four drills, and we're going to try and go relatively quick, all right? So we're going to start with small crossovers. Coach Chris, you ready? Perfect. We're going to start here in three, two, one, and go. Good. Nice small crossovers. Challenging yourself, pounding the basketball, keeping it nice and controlled, keeping your head and eyes up the entire time. Good. We don't want it to get too wide yet. We will do that quick, but we just want to control it for now. Staying in a good stance. Perfect. Three, two, one, and relax. Good, now we're gonna do wide crossover here. We're gonna get wide crossover started in three, two, one, and go. Nice, really pounding that basketball. Challenge yourself to get the ball nice and wide. Again, this is something that is a little bit different, something you don't do in, in, in a game uh, situation the entire time, but really just trying to challenge yourself, pounding that basketball, really learning how to handle it. Good, great job. I'm sure you guys can hear how hard he's pounding the basketball on the carpet over here as well. Good. Three, two, one, and relax. Perfect. Now we're going to go V-dribble cross. V-dribble cross, we're switching hands each time. Again, keeping this more controlled. We're going to start in three, two, one, and go. Good. V-dribble cross. Again, this is a, a little bit more controlled. The ball is about knee level. You don't want it to get too high. I'm trying to get it through nice and quick. Great job, Coach Chris. Way to challenge yourself. Good. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice work. And then the next one we're going to do is through the legs cross. So we'll, everybody's going to have their left foot in front a little bit, stagger our feet, go through the legs cross. Continuous, keeping it nice and low. We're going to start in three, two, one, and go. Again, he's doing a great job of keeping it controlled. The basketball hasn't come above his knee yet, which is a great thing. Keeping our head and eyes up. If you lose it, that's okay. We encourage it. That means you're pushing yourselves. You're trying to go as fast as you can, pounding as hard as you can. Nice work. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, now we're gonna do that circuit right back again. We're gonna do the same thing again. We're going two sets here. Two sets here, we're gonna go back to small crossovers right in front of us here in four, three, two, one, and go. Nice work. You're trying to challenge yourself and go even quicker and harder than the last time. Perfect. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Now we're gonna do a wide crossover. Wide crossover getting started here in three, two, one, and go. Nice wide crossover. Also not moving his feet. He's doing a great job of not moving his feet, staying nice and controlled. Good, that, that ball's coming nice and high, about waist level now, getting it nice and wide. Should be a little bit more difficult to control. 
trying to challenge yourself. Go, go faster than you did the last set. Good, coach. Even Coach Chris lost the ball. Three, two, one, and relax. Good, now we're gonna go V dribble cross. V dribble cross, second to last one. Challenge ourselves in three, two, one, and go. Nice work. Keeping it nice and low, nice and low in control. Three, two, one, and relax. And last one, last one. Now we're gonna switch legs. We're gonna have our right leg in front of our left leg. We're gonna go through the legs cross. Through the legs cross here in three, two, one, and go. Nice and controlled, keeping it low, knee level. Get yourself in a stance. Try to push yourself, go quicker than you did the last time. Coach Chris is over here pushing himself. Nice work. Good. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice work. Go ahead and get some water. Everybody go get some water. Okay, the next uh, thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna grab our chair back. You're gonna need your chair, you're gonna sit in it for a minute. It's gonna be a nice, quick, quick drill, something we're gonna give you um, that you guys can work on. Again, we want you guys to work on this stuff outside of just these IG Live workouts, especially that form shooting. Um, but we understand, I played basketball my entire life. We understand if you do a bunch of form shooting the entire time, it's easy to lose focus, might get a little bit of bored. So throw these drills in with it. Throw these drills in, some ball handling drills. Um, first one we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just pounding, uh, try to keep our elbow locked, pounding with just our fingertips with the right hand. Right hand right in front of us, we're gonna pound it just like that. If you can keep your elbow locked, even better. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, okay? Hold on real quick, coach. We'll, get it, we'll let everybody get started here. We're gonna get started in about five seconds. Okay, keeping our elbow locked, uh, right hand. Three, two, one, and go. Good, fingertips. Real quick dribbles. Should feel a nice burn in your arms and your forearms. Perfect, now switch to the left hand. Switch to the left hand, same thing. Try to keep our elbow locked. Good, good, nice small dribbles. Try not to let that ball die. If the ball dies, that's okay. Pick it back up, get right started again. There we go, keep going, keep going. Nice work. Good, okay, hold it up, hold it up. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the right hand. We're gonna do push-pull dribble right on the side of us. Push-pull dribble right on the side. Show us, Coach Chris. Good, trying to get back and forward. We're gonna get started here in three, two, one, and go. Nice work. Trying to really get it all the way behind us, all the way in front of us. Try to exaggerate how far it goes. Nice work. Good, in about five seconds, we'll switch to the left hand. Three, two, one, and switch. Switch to the left hand. Switch to the left hand again, same thing. Push, pull, dribble. Nice work. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, and the last one we're doing, sit in the chair. We're gonna go right under our legs, something that's actually common. I think anytime you sit down with the basketball, you kind of do this drill, um, but we're gonna add something to it. So he's gonna do two pounds, pound it twice, and then go through. So two quick pounds through the legs. One, two, quick. One, two, through. One, two, through. Perfect, and we'll get started in three, two, one, and go. Good, two quick pounds and get it all the way through. Good job, keep the ball nice and low. The ball has not come up past his legs yet, even on the pound dribbles. Great work. Good, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, now we're gonna get to our challenge. We do have a challenge for you guys to end the, uh, to end the workout with. You can stand up and move the chair. What our challenge is, something we've, we've done throughout this entire workout, but we're gonna add them together. So he's gonna do, he can start it in either hand. You're gonna do a V dribble, crossover, through the legs, crossover. And that is one. Now we'll do V dribble, crossover, through the legs, crossover. That's two. 
Okay, so we're gonna see how many we can get in 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna do this twice. Coach Chris, can you show us real quick, just do a, a, a few reps each side full speed. Just so V dribble through the leg, yeah, V dribble cross, through the legs cross. V dribble cross, through the legs cross, perfect. All right, now we're gonna do 30 seconds. See how many we can get in 30 seconds. Make sure you count, uh, post your number. We're gonna do two sets of these, two sets of these. So really try to give it your best. See if we can uh, get as many as you can. See if you can beat Coach Chris. All right, we're gonna start in three, two, one, and go. Good, way to focus. Coach Chris is doing a great job of actually talking the drill through while he's doing it. One thing we talk about, especially defensively, but in basketball, communication is concentration. He's communicating to himself so that he does not mess up. That's phenomenal. All right, we're at 20 seconds. Perfect, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, Coach Chris, do you know how many you got? 15, that's a high number. All right, make sure you comment, let us know how many you got. We're gonna give you guys just a second here before we get to, uh, to the second round. Now what we're trying to do is beat our, our next, uh, beat our last time. So let me reset this clock. We have 30 more seconds. We're gonna get started here in 10 seconds. In about 10 seconds, our last drill of the day, try to really push yourselves, see how many you can get. All right, we're trying to get, if we can get to 20 in 30 seconds, that's pretty, pretty impressive. All right, so we're gonna see if we can do that. Here, we'll get started in three, two, one, and go. count that half. Nice work, nice work. Again, we said if you can get in the 20s, obviously pretty impressive. If you can't, that's okay. That means you got something to work towards, all right? Um, before we, we let you guys go, a couple things. I know I've mentioned it, um, but for those who may have come in and, in and out or obviously were getting some water, um, didn't hear, one thing we did focus on today was some form shooting, um, and we slowed the drill down a little bit. Obviously, Coach Chris, he's a worker. He's always going to work hard, so he's still sweating through his his t-shirt, but we know we didn't do stuff that was uh, as high intensity to start the workout, and that's okay. Um, we do feel like it's very, very important, especially if you wanna be a great shooter. We see plenty of campers and, and, and players of all ages that come into a gym and start shooting three-pointers right away, and that's great. We know everybody wants to be a great three-point shooter, but it starts by with these techniques, all right? You can't skip steps. We wanna really stress that.